Hi guys. Happy 69th birthday to me. I am late. I get that. Um, my birthday was in February, but I don't know. You know, I just was not in the birthday frame of mind and didn't have any kind of a video or anything of that to kind of talk about and celebrate because at that time I wasn't feeling very, um, very excited about being 69. I, I just really have a hard time with it because I don't, I don't feel 69. I don't think I act 69. Most of the time I don't really think I look 69. So when I thought about, oh my gosh, 69 years old, next year it'll be 70, it was, it was kind of scary in that sense, you know. Um, but yeah, 69. So what, what are my thoughts about being 69, being almost 70, and then into my 70s? And I said to myself, you know, you have to really work on being the best you you can be. And you have to embrace the fact that you're 69. It, it beats the alternative, right? Not being here. I'd rather be alive and be 69 and be somewhat healthy and enjoy my life and, you know, have a relationship that I cherish with my husband. Even though having a relationship you cherish with your spouse is something you have to always work on, it doesn't just happen. You know, um, I said to Jay the other day, love does change. It matures. It it becomes more accepting and more welcoming and stuff like that and more or less my way or no way. I think as people, the longer you're together, your love changes. It blossoms in many, many different ways. We have a wonderful companionship. So we're friends and that makes a big difference. And we like a lot of the same things. Not everything, but a lot of the same things. And we've had a lot of togetherness because we both work in the same industry. So finding that balance with your significant other, you know, cherishing them. And if you don't have a significant other, I think finding that balance in yourself to find things that you like to do to stay active, to stay young, to stay, you know, connected, keep your mind engaged, your body engaged. I, I have struggled with my weight for as long as I can remember. And it still is a struggle. And each year I say, yeah, I'm gonna lose weight. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. It isn't that easy. It isn't that easy, <laughs> but it's still a goal. So 69, I have, to, I have to admit that I, when I hear that number, it feels and sounds so ancient. And I know there are some very many beautiful women that I know, um, especially on YouTube. I look at, you know, Babs, Take Control Beauty, who is just absolutely beautiful. We talk a lot on Facebook, and she's in her 80s, you know, 80s. I mean, she's absolutely gorgeous. And that gives me hope. <laughs> it gives me hope. So... For my birthday this year, and I, I'm really all about transparency. I want to be as transparent as possible. And I do a lot of skincare review. You guys know I review a lot of wigs. I happen to love this. This is a portrait mode by Raquel Welch. Oh my gosh, in shaded cappuccino. I love this hair. Probably my ultimate favorite hair right now. But, um, you know, so I talk a lot about beauty and skincare. And I know that there's some negative... Um, thoughts and feelings when people say anti-aging. But that's really what I call it, what I've always called it. So it's very hard for me to change my vocabulary. Just like when I research a topic for my real estate classes, I research it and then I put in a folder all of the supporting documents and all of the different tools that I want to share and use to get the topic across to my participants, my students. Now that research, nobody says research, they all say my collateral, you know? And um, so it's, I know there's many different words, anti-aging, aging gracefully, whatever, whatever you wanna call it. And negative aside, at 69, I have been trying to anti-age. I, I mean, I realize I'm going to keep getting older and that's awesome, I guess. <laughs> no, that really is awesome, I get it. 
but and to me anti-aging means I'm gonna do everything I can to you know maybe look younger feel younger um, be more vibrant be more energetic all of that is a package deal to me I'm not ashamed to say that I'm into anti-aging I like wearing makeup I, I love when I can have beautiful hair. My bio hair is not all that great, although it's getting a lot better. But I love all of the pieces of being a, a woman, being a girly girl, wearing the makeup, trying, you know, this and that. There are certain things I've never done. You know, um, I've never had any kind of like cosmetic surgery. And, you know, the, and I'm never, I've never been against anything like that. It's just that I haven't done it. And I've always been on a budget, so my skincare is more budget orientated. I do use Retin-A, as many of you know, and a lot of you have asked me for a little update. So I, I've been, since I had my Mohs surgery, I kind of laid off a lot of skincare. Well, now I'm back in the game. I'm using my Retin-A a couple of times a week, the 0.01%, um, and um, a couple of times a week on that. I use a lot of my, the ordinary serums. I use vitamin C. So there's a lot of my skincare things that I have picked back up and that I am using. If I have to say, what is the one thing that's made the biggest impact over the course of years for me? Aside from say Retin-A, that is something that I think, because I've used it so consistently, I mean every single day since 2016, I've used a collagen supplement, a powder. I put it in my coffee in the morning, and I and I use this all the time. This is this is something I do all the time, and I think that it has helped my skin, and it's even probably helped my bio hair as well. Um, you know, maybe maybe to some degree, but it certainly has helped my skin. It it has helped my skin. I went to I went to go and see a specialist, and they looked at my skin. And she said, my goodness, your skin looks so hydrated. And it's the collagen because I do have dry skin. So overnight miracles don't happen. But over the course of time, all the little things you can do to keep yourself looking younger, anti-aging, whatever you want to call it, it all will kick in if you're consistent so when I say that, the collagen, number one, sunblock, number two, I don't care what you do. If you're not wearing sunblock, you know, and you're an outdoor lover like me, sunblock, hats, whatever, um, it, it's going to impact your skin in a negative way. So sunblock, crucial, collagen to me has been a big thing. And I did go to, sorry, my battery died. It, it seems to be the story of my life, my battery dies. It's like, it's like totally crazy. Um, anyways, so I did go and I went to a clinic, a very, very well respected clinic locally. And I talked to this most lovely, lovely um, lady. And, um, the the doctor that I had was absolutely fabulous. She spent a lot of time looking at my skin and she was pretty shocked that I was 69. Maybe they just say that for everyone, I don't know. But um, so we, we talked about what was bothering me and my skin and of course my budget and my levens have bothered me. So you know I sleep with a frowny on and my levens just really, really bother me. I have droopy eyes and all that stuff. My wrinkles are my wrinkles. My jowls I know will be a facelift, but I ended up having something called Eximian, X-E-O-M-I-N, like 32 units put in and on my levens and right here on the edge of my brow, just to kind of maybe lift my brow slightly. I don't know that it's kicked in fully yet because it takes days. It's um, This is a variation of Botox, so it takes days for it to really kick in. And it's been, today is Sunday, it's been like four days. So it should be kicking in. Maybe it's already kicked in. Um, I think my 11s look a lot better. This is not filtered. I don't, I mean, I have regular makeup on that I normally have on in my videos, my ring light. But um, but I think that my 11s are like so much better, even though I have not slept with the frowny. So I had that done and I can't wait to see when it fully kicks in. 
um, what what I look like but it may be something that I do every four months or something depending on how these 11s look because this is what I'm worried about um, I'm not looking to have a facelift I can't afford anything like that but again is it anti-aging maybe um, I'm trying to look the best I can possibly look and feel the best I, I can possibly feel. So I just want you to know that's what I have done. And so you might see my 11s disappear eventually. I know they have not been really bad and I know sleeping with the frowny has really helped my muscles and all of that. But I'm so thrilled with the results so far and the um, the clinic in Wyndham that I went to. I will link the information if anyone's local. She did, she was fabulous. She's absolutely fab fabulous. And I can't wait to go for a follow-up. She wants to take a look at it. I've sent her some photos and stuff like that so she could see. But 69... And I don't think there's anything wrong with using the word anti-aging. I do know that there is an obsession with aging um, where it's a negative thing, an obsession with people wanting to stay as young as they can to the degree that they destroy their faces. I've seen that happen. And I've seen it happen with millionaires, you know, rich people, movie stars. Do I want to be Madonna? No. Um, Priscilla Presley comes to mind too. I don't want to be them. I want to be the best version of 69 I can be. And what I've hated about my face, other than the fact that I'm fat and I have jowls, what I've hated has been my 11s. And I just feel, happy birthday, Monica. I've done something to help my 11s not look as bad as they were. And I feel so so super happy about that so I wanted to share that with you because I know some of you might say oh you're looking really good or your you know skin um, it is no skin care right now but this is the very very first time I've had anything done other than one facial in my life and um, I am so glad I saved my pennies for it because it's not anything that's covered and I wanted to make sure that I didn't take it out of some other money, but I saved my money, some of my birthday money, and I just put money into a little pocket in my wallet to be safeguarded for this, and that's exactly what I used the money for. And as of this point in time of this filming, my husband has no clue. He has not noticed anything different about me. I'm waiting for him to say something, and then I'll tell him. But right now he has no clue. And who knows if he'll watch this video. At least if he watches this video, he won't watch all the way through, I don't think. And I'm not too sure when this is going to be published. So this is sort of my confessional of 69. My 69th birthday confessional. What have I done to myself? Yeah, that's what I've done. What do you think? How do you think? I mean, do you, can you see my 11s? I love my results so far. I do. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I know this is just a video about nothing, but it's going to, I think I'm going to call it my, my confessions of my 69th birthday. <laughs> love you all. And I will see you in my next video.